For this example, we have the problem statement, the rigid pipe is supported by a pin at A and, a, and an A36 steel cable BD. If the wire has a diameter of 0.25 inches, determine how much it stretches when a load of P is equal to 600 pounds acts on the, the pipe. So here we're given the, the diagram here, and we know the material is A36 steel. So in this case, we have the modulus of elasticity being equal to 29 million pounds per square inch. So we have the given property of the material, the modulus of elasticity. Now we know the diameter being a quarter inch, and we have this external load P of 600 pounds being applied at the, at the end of this pipe. Now, so we know that this is a wire and it's going to be in tension once it, we have this external load being applied because it's going to help support the pipe. Now in this case, we just go back to statics and we can actually saw for what this tension in this cable is, T, BD by just doing the sum of moments with respect to point A and we can actually solve for this TBD here. So now doing the sum of moments with respect to point A being equal to zero for static equilibrium, um, we have the 600 pounds times the, the perpendicular length to point A which is 6 feet. Of course this is negative moment because it's a clockwise moment and we chose our sign convention counterclockwise to be positive. So that tension in the cable, we actually have an X component and a Y component, as you can see here. Now, the X component doesn't really um, generate any moment with respect to point A. However, the Y component does, and we see the perpendicular length um, is 3 feet with respect to point A. So we get the Y component, the tension in cable BD times um, opposite over hypotenuse, four-fifths, times that perpendicular distance, three feet, is equal to zero. So from here, we're able to solve the tension in cable BD, which gives us 1,500 pounds. Now, going back to the deformation equation, the deformation of the cable BD is equal to that external load P times the length divided by modulus of elasticity times its cross-sectional area. Now, in this case, P is actually the tension in that cable BD, so it's TBD. We know the length of it because we have the geometry, the width is three feet, the highest four feet, and we're able to use trig to solve for that hypotenuse, which is the length of the cable. So right here, we have all the given parameters, and so we go ahead and solve for how much that wire stretches or deforms. So we have 1,500 pounds times five feet divided by 29 million pounds per square inch times the area of the, cro the cross-sectional area, power of four times the diameter squared we see when it comes to unit can cancellations the inches squared cancels with this pounds cancels with this and at the end of the day we're left with the deformation in feet which makes sense however when it comes to the deformation usually it's not significant to a point where we want to represent it in feet we usually want to represent it in inches so we just do that unit conversion 12 inches is equivalent to one feet and we go ahead and cancel out the footage and we have our final answer in inches. It's always a good practice to always make sure your units cancel out. And at the end of the day, make sure that your the unit that you are getting does indeed make sense with what you're solving for. In this case, deformation or how much the wire stretches in inches makes perfect sense. And so we know our unit cancellations are accurate. So now the deformation of that wire BD or how much it stretches is 0.06 three two inches and this is how much it stretches due to that external load of 600 pounds being applied